Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. It's time for Under 30, and today we're looking at a new one that's quantum computing. And joining us now for more on the name is George Tillis, senior markets correspondent for the Schwab Network. George, stock ticker for those unaware, Q. UBT, much smaller name than we typically look at, about an $800 market cap, $800 million market cap, I should say. Uh, and yeah. I'm seeing employees at the end of last year, only 39 of them, George. This is a really up and coming company, but the performance has been monstrous when you look at the stock. It has. Um, I mean, I think the stock is up year to date over 700 or so percent, and it's high. Uh, you know, relative to a very small market capitalization. So if you just do the, the math, roughly speaking, um, you know, this was a, a micro cap company. I, I want to place it still as a micro cap company below a billion dollars. But nonetheless, I think, you know, what's happening here is there's a lot of parallel technology uh, companies and, of course, technologies that are moving in sympathy with blockchain. Bitcoin is the is the closest proxy, of course. And then artificial intelligence. Now, you know, if you look at quantum computing, there's always been quantum computing, you know, elements to uh, integration of technologies. But, you know, what they really do uh, as a business is they produce software uh, and quantum computing as a whole is all about um, deciphering and, of course, creating data encryption models and using random generating uh, algorithms to do so. Uh, but as you mentioned, this company itself is relatively small with 39 employees. I'm just going off the uh, the income statement that I saw based on last uh, four quarters. They generated $400,000 uh, in revenues last year. But one of the things about this particular company is, is that uh, they burnt through about $24 million of, of equity. Um, and that came from share dilution. But irrespective of that, uh, the stock is just moving to the upside because I think there's a lot going on with the parallel technologies, uh, blockchain and artificial intelligence. Now the speculators are latching on to quantum computing names. Uh, but there is some you know, promise to this particular name. I can't speak to its competitors, uh, but they do have, it seems to me, based on the news that's been reported, some partnership with Amazon Web Services uh, to embark on a partner program for uh, for quantum computing, which will help uh, with their random ge number generating technologies and algorithms. And the whole premise behind this as well is not necessarily data encryption and, and of course, uh, data deciphering, but it comes down to computing power and uh, what you can do to actually minimize the needs for connecting computer computing power and reducing uh, latency as well as the workloads for um, for AI, and that's the whole premise behind this technology, just roughly speaking. Uh, but irrespective of that, the uh, the stock is extremely robust in terms of price action. I mean, it's just going parabolic, uh, but it did trade quite a bit to the upside today. I think the highs were around nine dollars and thirty cents, so it's uh, it's drifted off quite a bit since the highs earlier today. So you, I was seeing that, and I was curious about that as well, George, and also the fact that, I mean, this name has made such a, a run-up today, but to me, like, where have we seen this name in the last year? Because you read about quantum computing just as, like, an emerging field, frankly, and you'd think it'd be tied to the hype around AI, but yeah. then you look at this, this chart's price, and it's like, where have we been for the last, you know, 11 months? Well, that's the thing. Obviously, you can go back and look. I mean, from a daily standpoint, it started moving really aggressively in October. So, you know, I can't say if that's a coincidental, you know, movement alongside a lot of the other majors out there in artificial intelligence. This company did, like I said, secure uh, some contracts with AWS. They also secured about $40 million in grant money to, uh, to start building a facility in Tempe, Arizona. So, for what it's worth, that might have been part of that CHIPS Act that the Biden administration has uh, has provided many of the larger semiconductor names. And maybe there was a, a portion of that legislation, which I'm sure is extremely large, that legislation to provide it to up and coming businesses. And maybe QB, QUBT got a portion of that, you know, smaller, you know, startup, uh, you know, uh, portion of that money. So. Uh, that's positive, obviously. Um, I just can't value this company financially just because it's extremely speculative and uh, effectively it's all financed by equity. Now, uh, you know, the trend is obviously positive, so I'm not going to go against any trend. If you try to short against a powerful trend, it's just that's just flat out stupid, for lack of a better word. You're just you're just uh, running in front of a freight train. 
Uh, but looking at the price action of the stock, I mean, it can fall all the way to four dollars, you know, which is a pretty substantial move from here on a percentage basis, and still be in an uptrend. So, uh, I suggest, you know, you have to consider speculative money uh, when investing in a company like this. That's just again, you know, uh, you know, using responsible investing uh, tactics. Uh, but you also have to think about dilution. Dilution is most likely going to come down the road because this company is burning through about $24 million in cash. It only has about $3 million in cash left on the balance sheet. So for what it's worth, um, I don't know very much about this technology, but I do know that trends are very powerful, and this has obviously been in one of those powerful trends. George, I appreciate you going there because I was going to you know, ask you, but I'll just comment on it here as we say goodbye. You know, a move like this is rare. For every one of these, I don't know how many don't perform yeah. from these $1 stocks, but going from $1 to $10 or almost $10 in a month doesn't happen that often. So just know that, you know, this can teach you a lot of wrong lessons too, thinking that you can just catch lightning in the bottle by looking at these names. George Chellis, appreciate it as always, uh, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Schwab Network.